tips we got 10 things on our list yes. and yeah let's get right that kind of scared me let's get right <laughs> into the video okay study tip number one so we're just gonna talk about the difference between writing your notes and like typing your notes like what you know what classes you should do it for or whatever oh uh, what class do I write notes for I write notes for like all of my classes I, like I can't type that fast yeah. it's just a me thing I mean like that's kind of a preference but you know writing your notes is helpful it is. It's really helpful. Uh, you uh, when you write your notes in class, especially if like your teacher gives you like powerpoints, like uh, like it's provided for you, like you can still access them like after class. You should probably focus on writing like what the professor is saying rather than like what's on the slides. Yeah. Because you can always go back and add like to your notes, like you know, like what was like on the slides because you like have access to them. If you don't have access to them, you know, good luck, Charlie. Because like we had a class where we didn't have access, and it's like kind of hard to like keep up and like you have to write everything because she was one of those teachers like for family and child development she was one of those teachers that like you had to know like everything that was on the slide when she told you like oh it's not really that important or it won't be tested or whatever so yeah please talk about typing yeah and like typing i mean for me one reason i type is because like i don't have the best handwriting so if i if i can type i'm gonna type but i i'm not against writing whatever but i use i, don't, I usually only type for most of the, like the easier classes like i think i only type for history and dance but like classes like uh biology and even fcd like it was some people typing in fcd but that's the class i felt like mm, i was better at writing because it's easier to organize like by mm -hmm. bullet when i write it and faster than to just uh like try to type it up in word or whatever so um I say if you're a pretty fast typer and if you find it more effective that way, then you should do it. But at the same time, I feel like if you're going to type your notes, you you need to go back through them and still, like, copy them down at hand. Like, even if you type them in class, you need to go and write them because you'll retain the information better. That's why it's better. It's also better to write at the same time because yeah. that's, you know, if you recopy your notes, it's like. Yeah, I mean, even with writing and typing, we feel like, well, we both, like, after we write or typed our notes after class or a week after, a day after, whatever, like, to go back and, like, write your notes again. Mm -hmm. First of all, if, especially if you write, it makes it, like, neater. You can organize better. Yeah. And if you add in stuff from, like, information from slides, it makes it, you know, easier to, like, to you know, put that. the stuff in there. Yeah. Uh, we recommend, well, I feel like for writing, I recommend, like, getting, like, colored pens. I don't know if that's just a us thing. Some people, what, like, but. just writing, like, a normal black pen. And I know people who highlight if you just want to yeah. use highlighters. But I don't know. I don't like Color the way that looks. Are. That's yeah. where it's at. Okay, <laughs> like, use your color pen. You can, like, you know, it's just easier. You can just put, like, your, your big titles, your subtitles. Yeah. You're, like, you know, it just, like, organizes your thoughts or whatever. Well, it is. Set aside time for each class. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm dead. Um, set aside time for each class. So, it's kind of like we, I think it's kind of like we said, what was our last video? I don't know. It's kind of like we said in the <laughs> other video, though, when we said prioritize or whatever, that's kind of, I feel like that's kind of basically the same thing. So you just need to make sure, like, you don't forget about certain yeah. classes. Don't, you know, some are more important than others, but don't underestimate estimate, them. Yep. Because I thought in the beginning for, like, uh, family and child development, we were like, oh, we don't really need to study, like, super hard, or we don't need to, like, put that much work in. Yeah. But, like, I don't know, once we, we got past, like, the first, first test, we was like, no, like, we're going to have to start looking at this book. Yep. Like, number three is get work done ahead of time. I know it's not like you can't always do that. It's not, like, the easiest thing to do. But, like, like there are times when you're not going to really have, like, no work. Because it happens. Like, you know, you might think, like, I'm always be doing this, 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 and that. But, like, it's times where you're not going to have no work. Like, it's going to be like, dang. Really like, really yeah, know. like, you just going to be sitting there. All your friends going to be studying. You're going to be like, well. <laughs> so, you know, you should take that time. Look at your syllabus. Syllabi. And uh, get ahead. Because, you know. Or make sure you caught up. Like, if you are at that point that you don't have anything to do, make sure you go back and make sure you did everything you need to do. You know, you probably forgot something. Or, or like, oh, dang. Like, yeah. 
I know that happened to me one time. I was like, I ain't got nothing to do. Messed around and had tests come up and I didn't even study for it. <laughs> so, yeah. So, at our, at our uh, school, we have these things called SI sessions. I don't know if other schools do, but for Texas State, we have SI sessions. And, well, okay, so for chemistry, this year we were required Which to go like, to them. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that, but. Mm. No, mm. I don't like it. <laughs> okay, I won't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it depends on your on your SI person. Every session isn't the best session, but they can be helpful. And it depends on when, because like if you have an SI session before you have the class, it's like okay, I haven't even went to class and learned, learned what I was supposed to you. learn, but I already had like an SI session. session. So for chemistry, I didn't really like that it was like required, and then it's like you had to take what was it eight. And it's only like seven weeks that you could take them. So then in one week you have to double up. Like you'll have no choice but to take like two SI sessions in one week. But you know, overall, when you go and you going on your own, it's like really helpful. Cause like, uh, yeah, I mean like classes like biology, it's like, dang, like I really don't understand like photosynthesis. Yeah. So like this week I can go to this SI session and like, oh, now I understand. And it's like, they teach you in like a different way mm -hmm. than like your professor would. Cause they're like students too. Like, they're literally, like, they might just be one year old. They might mm -hmm. be the same grade as you. Like, you know, uh, y'all on the same level. So, it's easier to understand, like, when they, like, you know. Yeah. And also, also uh, office hours. Go to your professor office hours, which I definitely didn't take advantage of. And, like, like for my chemistry teacher, I can't talk about chemistry because that was hell. But <laughs> I went to him at the end of the semester. And he was like, where have you been all semester? And I was like, you know, I feel like I didn't even need to come to you because I thought everything was going to get better. And... You know, if I would have just been going to him, we could have figured something out or something. I don't know, but those office are important. Thing. You get office hours like the first week, like they set them up or whatever. I thought they remind you too, like you know. Yeah. And we went for biology a couple of times because oh yeah, biology. <laughs> that's our class. Okay, yeah. I didn't understand what was. We was like, okay, can we like, break down like how this is like? Yeah. But yeah, office hours and SI sessions are definitely a key to like having a four point oh semester. Mm -hmm. Next don't cram study so when we say that we mean like don't wait till the day before your test and be like okay i'm gonna learn all this stuff from the whole last like three weeks because 99 percent of the time you're not gonna remember half the stuff you studied that night before because you just like crammed it all into your brain you know you have to learn stuff in pieces yeah that's why you study over a period of time you know which is not always the easiest but you gotta like make it like you gotta, you gotta like make the time yeah. for a little bit, cause it's gonna be better off on, on you than cramming. Yeah. Cramming is like the worst thing you could do. I promise you, probably feel like you like, oh my god, I just learned like all this stuff. <laughs> but like in reality, when you get to that test, your mind gonna go like blank. blank. You gonna be like, <laughs> dang, I just read this. And I don't remember what it like. Exactly. So it's no point. Flashcards are great for. I feel like they're great for a lot of classes. You know, different parts of the class yeah. it they're just great like, like some parts of chemistry with yeah the like definitely i feel like definitely anatomy coming up i feel like it's gonna be amazing for that fcd classes yeah. if they the same as our last one it's gonna be amazing for that dance that might sound that's kind of rude it's not really a big of a deal but you know it's something you could do for dance uh yeah like parts of chemistry you know, when you're trying to learn how to, like, match stuff up and yeah. stuff like that. Matching cards, stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Okay, next. We have do the study guides. Most te most professors, I don't feel like I ever had one that just been like, nope, you better figure it out for the test. I mean, most of the time they give you, like, a, a study so, guide. Yeah, yeah. They might not be the best study guides, though, because Lord knows we had some that was like, what? And then we get the <laughs> test, and it's like, girl, this is not, not a study guide. Not study guide. Don't expect the study guide to be, every, you know? Yeah everything they're not just gonna hand it to you but for the most part like it's it's definitely gonna help yeah it like helps you uh because some information that you learn throughout that period is not going to be needed so that helps you weed out what you don't need to worry about and what you do need to worry about although for fcd that was some stuff we need to worry about but <laughs> she just wants to know like percentages and like we never talked about that like another thing you can try for studying i feel like if you have like a short attention span yeah. or like yeah if you can't study it for that long you can do like time intervals so like study for an hour break for 
15 minutes or 30 minutes 30 minutes pushing it yeah, that's 15 a long minutes, time. or just you know break it up like that and it'll help you like be able to focus in because i know some people just can't really just focus in for straight hours like that but then yeah. some people can so it's what works for you Maybe. you'll figure it out number nine we would say change locations uh studying in the same spot for like too long makes studying not good anymore if that makes sense That's like your head a little bit. you'd be like i don't know you just stop like retaining stuff like you just don't be like you just there you just doing it and like but you're not like taking it in mm -hmm. if that makes sense so like studying inside your room all the time not really a good idea studying at the library I was every saying, night to the library not a good night, idea you so, know like yeah there's just different places especially at Texas state personally it's like a lot of places you can go to like study and it depends on what type of person you are people be studying like on the quad like you could like it's just up to you um last thing we have is use a planner okay first week you get your syllabus okay things might change first yeah. of all go to syllabus week let them tell you what confirm everything mm -hmm. that's on the syllabus then go ahead and get your dates in at least for that month for that month go yeah, ahead you should write do your due month. dates and you feel more organized and it'll help you know what you need to prepare for in the upcoming weeks and stuff like that so a planner or like you know you know you people used to try to use planners in high school or whatever but like so in college pointless. It really is like really is important. To see this, so, uh, yeah, yeah, and you should have like I don't know, I don't know. Maybe we just crazy, but we got like more than one place to like write stuff down. The more you write it down, the easier the, it is to remember, remember to do it. Exactly. Because like, okay, let's just say they tell you something in class. Okay, you got a planner in your backpack. Okay, whip your planner out. You write in your backpack or whatever, and then like, uh. If you have a planner like in your room, then you're like, okay, I'm going to go in my room. And like, let's just say you have like a desk planner or whatever, or calendar or whatever. You write down your calendar and then it's like right in your face every time you sit down. So it's like, mm -hmm. I don't know, it makes it easier to like want to do the stuff. Yeah, because even if you did have like like a desk planner and not like an actual planner in your backpack, that's not helpful. Because like, what if you like out and about and you need to know like your schedule? And then like... It's 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 very good to have both. I think now after we like got the disciplines, it's good to have it in both places. And then like a little sub a little sub script thingy from that one is to have like to do list when you go to study. Cause like sometimes you sit down I and mean, you should make your to do list like throughout the day, like before you like actually sit down and study. Cause sometimes you sit down and it's just like, dang, like what was I even start? gonna like? I don't remember like what the first thing I was gonna do. I don't remember what was due tonight. So you should like sit down or throughout the day, you know, you think about stuff. You like, you write it down, put in your notes in your phone, write it down on like a note card, or something, to where when you sit down and study, you can actually like you know know what you're doing. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope that was. I feel like those were very helpful tips. You know what I'm saying? I would want somebody to tell me these things a year ago. Yeah. So. Go ahead, like it up, because I know y'all like the video. Comment, because we're going to reply. I'm like, we're friendly, so reply. Oh, don't forget to subscribe now, because I know y'all want to see more videos from us or whatever. Yeah, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.